My name is Cole Brockman. I teach at Wayne County High School in Jessup, Georgia. I teach 9th through 12th graders, biology and physics, and I am a Milken educator. Uh, I thought that we were just being recognized by the Georgia Department of Education for all the many great things that are going on here at Wayne County. And as Mr. Nick Ellis read through them earlier, everybody was able to hear all the great things that were happening. Man, um, obviously this honor was, was also a part of it, and I'm very humbled, but you know, it's, it's the, our Yellow Jacket pride here. As Mr. Ellis read through every great accomplishment that we have had this year and where we keep going, it's, it's just great to be a Yellow Jacket. So we were told that Mr. Woods was coming in and our Superintendent Woods was coming in and talking about just our academic culture and highlighting some academic excellence that we've had throughout our building. So I, you know, th this wasn't on the agenda that we were told, so it was a huge shock. Um, you know, a lot of emotions, so yeah, not surprised. Um, I didn't believe it at first. I had my pick. There was many great picks that could have had throughout the building in each department. Um, I, I share these hallways with, with a lot of great teachers and I think that's one of the reasons that we're so successful academically here. But when they said my name, I, I was waiting for my pick in my head and I, I didn't believe it. And um, a guy I coached with looked at me and said, Coach Brock, they, they called you. So that was kind of when I knew that it was real um, and that's when I, when I made my way down. You know, I, we have a lot of great teachers in this building and I think any time that you can highlight what teachers are doing here, that's just going to gain more recognition, more respect, more buying for that school altogether. I think it does a great job of boosting morale and help building the culture in the building. Uh, being here, it's a big family environment, um, small town, so we have those type of values and culture here. and. I just think it's great that we see that here and what we're doing, the vision that our prince was put in front of us, Dr. Medaniel, that it's working. So we just have to trust in what he puts in front of us and buy into it and let everything else take care of itself. I mean, I've had a lot of great mentors and some of those is Dr. Medaniel himself, our principal. Um, he's always believed in me, given me opportunities and kind of pushed me in, into a zone where I was uncomfortable. It was to help me grow. Mr. Patrick Edwards, he's been a great mentor. He came here after my uh, first year. Coach Justin McDonald, he's our athletic director and head baseball coach. I've had the opportunity of being assistant baseball coach up under him and he was kind of one of the key figures recruiting me back here from another school whenever I first was getting into education. Her Dr. Amy Denny, she, um, I graduated with her son and she's always been a large influence in the education world of my life. And then my PLC group, Ms. Ms. Kayla Cowart, Ms. Melinda Chancey, Ms. Missy Fountain. We do a lot of collaborating and we're a, we're a great team. So, I mean, this, this award right here establishes what, what we're doing all together. So, I teach for the students. Um, I, I want to challenge them to be the best versions of themselves they can be. I don't show up with the mindset of we're going to learn biology, we're going to learn physics, and we're going to move on. I want them to be prepared for the real world, if it's college, if it's a tech school, if it is to the workforce, whatever it's going to be, I want to make sure they're equipped with the skills to be the best version of themselves. And that's what keeps me going and that's why I show up every day. I, I'm so proud of them. And, you know, I, especially when the ones who aren't used to achieving at a high academic level, whenever they see that they can achieve too, that there's no other feeling like it. Whenever you see them having success, whenever we have our end of the year ceremonies, our end of year honors, whenever you see the smiles on their faces and you see in what they have gone through through four years to get to where they were, there, there's no other feeling like it. And it, it's just a sense of being proud for them and their family. So when I'm in the classroom, I try to focus on being in the classroom. When I'm at the field, I try to focus on being the best coach I can be. But we talk about our mindset at each of them a lot. And again, just the controlling your effort and your attitude, that's the two things that I believe every individual, regardless of circumstances, can control. But past that, it, eight, eight to three, I'm gonna try to be the best teacher I can be. Three to whenever we finish for the day, I'm gonna try to be the best coach I can be. And I've been very blessed to have phenomenal students and phenomenal athletes. So again, a part of this honor and achievement is due credit to me being blessed with who, who I've been able to have these experiences with these past seven, eight years or how long. <laughs>